Uh, my name is Andrew Ross. I'm a, a, a private contractor in the coral restoration space based in Jamaica. And I work for, and my company is called Seascape Caribbean. And uh, yeah, as said, we're going to talk about a non-gardening silvicultural approach that we took uh, for a client uh, for the Iberostar Resorts, uh, specifically for the attenuation of wave energy. Uh, so let's start with the terms a little bit. So we'll start with uh, coral gardening specifically. Rinkovic coined this as an iterative propagative approach to generate the material that you're going to use in restoration. A non-gardening approach is, of course, direct collection for planting, which we've talked about a few times already today. A silvicultural approach is as opposed to the horticultural. Uh, the latter places a large per isolate uh, investment um, so that with an expectation of survivorship, like your garden center roses is the example. And the former makes very little investment per isolate in order to get lots and lots and lots of them. So like agroforestry in a pine plantation. Uh, so the project that we did uh, in 2020, in February, wave of change. So the Iberia Cell Foundation contracted my company, Seascape Caribbean, to culture and plant 1,000 meters of Acropora palmata isolates in a very shallow four reef, ostensibly as, as said, wave protection for the resort property and the downstream habitats uh, underneath uh, the Grange Hill Fish Sanctuary Program, which was pending at the time, and also to, as an illustrative pilot for a proprietary method that we'd been using for a couple of years for them. Now, the why question, Elkhorn thickets dominated Caribbean reefs. This, what you see here, this gold is the natural condition of a, of a, sh of a Caribbean reef. That gold should perpetuate right through the background. Anybody who saw it, please put your hand up. I want to see pictures. This is a photograph from 1973 from a helicopter. It's actually nicked from a Jacques Cousteau special. Um, if this was not in 1973 footage, everything you see inside that circle would be the same color as the circle. It would be gold, gold, gold. Um, now, in the, these, these corals suffered a, a pandemic, an epidemic, in the uh, early 1980s, dying back by more than 95%, which left coastal habitats and infrastructures vulnerable to wave erosion, wave energy and wave erosion. So this project intended to reinvigorate that coral service using modern, modern adapted uh, lineages and genets. And the how, basically, as I said, planting a large number of very healthy corals into the wave-beaten shallows in front of the hotel. So where? Northeast, or sorry, northwest coast of Jamaica, um, in front of the Iberostar Star Montego Bay Resort. Um, the nursery is a great big steel frame, six by three meters of rigid horizontal frame, buoyed midwater in a high albedo substrate at about three meters depth. It's about halfway, meter and a half above the bottom. Um, and as you can see, we took five parent corals, two from the fore reef, two from the back reef, and one from the middle, and we that we populated the nurseries with just over 200 isolates, each at less than one square centimeter, or cubic centimeter, excuse me, direct harvested from the parent. And then each of these tiny nubbins was set to our proprietary silvicultural ring mount device. The mount and coral is then set to a taut horizontal line um, for only head starting. We put them on there for about 100 days. That's it, that's all we wanted. Uh, at the end, the planting of the ring mount becomes a washer. Through that goes a very simple masonry screw, regular masonry screw, and by absolute moronic luck, that fits perfectly. Uh, the dominance, the little natural perforations that occur in the dominant CCA within that area are basically within all of these sorts of reefs, certainly around Jamaica and elsewhere, that, and even Guam and other places people have reported. What that means is a quick, clean, familiar, and intuitive, you're using a screw, anybody who's ever built a cabinet from Ikea knows what I'm talking about, <laughs> makes it highly trainable. And then it's also modular, piece, 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 which means you could do it on snorkel, which made it very user-friendly. So we planted all 1,000, well, it wasn't 1,000 by that point, but basically 750 corals over two, two morning events in sort of October and November of last year. Each event was two to five workers per morning, which included spear fishermen. We trained them in 15 minutes. Uh, the depth was, away, it was according to the wave attenuation goal, less than two meters down to less than a foot. Um, and the spacing was approximately one meter, albeit it didn't work that way, but we can explain that after. Uh, because in four years we expect to have a patched reef of interlocking corals. Well, if they're all that big, then they'll almost touch, in theory. So all things going to plan, initial overgrowth of these little characters is notable in about 10 days. This coral is about two weeks old, and you can see it's already starting to overscrow the screw. At that initial over overgrowth, it's stormproof. It takes a lot to uproot these little guys. 
Uh, and the outcomes, we have not been able to monitor the actual survivorship yet. We put down about 750, I'd have to look back. Um, but until they are big enough that we can see them, which will be about 18 months, we'll get these little fists, little golden fists sticking up all over the bottom. Um, then we'll be able to monitor and really see what's going on. I'm over five minutes. Um, and we'll go to the next one. These are four years old, same technique, different site. Uh, any questions? There should be a lot. Thank you.